The reason why you guys argue so hard about this is because it takes away everything you've ever known. For some reason, you were so happy when you found out Santa Claus wasn't real, the Tooth Fairy wasn't real. All these fairy tales were discredited and disproven, but for oh, some happy. reason, I was when I found no, 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 no. <laughs> so some people were excited because they're, they're fucking insane. The fact that somebody told you this when you were seven years old and nobody ever combated it until now bothers the shit out of you. That is what needs to be investigated. The triggering point. There's something in the human brain that that for some reason that when, you, when you're told something as a child and somebody challenges that as an adult, it just drives you mad. It's like finding out your father's a homosexual, finding out your father's a pedo or something like that. It just drives you insane. You can't seem to live with it. It just drives you nuts. Like, like here's the thing, right? Now, if I were to make, start making videos saying that I believe in Narnia, right? My videos will get ignored. Yeah, if I exactly. say I believe in the Rainbow Kingdom and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go to Adventure Time Kingdom Land or whatever Candy Kingdom and play and hang out with Finn and Jake, I will get dismissed, right? Mm -hmm. If I say that there's extraterrestrials in an alternate dimension living among us and they're spying on us like a person, like like a security guard spying on somebody inside the changing room at a at a, yeah. a detailed department clothing store, um, it will get dismissed. But if I say there's a possibility that the Earth is potentially flat, stationary, and does not rotate on its axis at a thousand miles every hour, 24 times a day, then I, f while flying through space as a ball that's flying through space like a Power Rangers orb or some damn Transformer shit, that's insane. And here's how you know it, it's, it's, just, it's, it's baffling. Some it's of baffling. you have to be like government plants. Because why is this the only theory that's so combated? This yeah. is the only thing on earth I that don't you get can't it. argue about. I don't get it. You can even argue about politics. You can even argue about your heart. But you can't argue about something that neither none of us actually know for that's ourselves. What, so I remember I was arguing with this troll one time, right? And slap the <laughs> a dime. I'm, I'm a name drop. Um, and I was tearing his ass out the frame. Like, we were both in a prison holding cell. Or, <laughs> or jail holding cell. And... <laughs> I was just roasting the shit out of him. And I was asking him, Slapper, I can tell by your responses that you just want somebody to convince you that it's flat. Because I could tell by his reaction is that he wanted to believe. But what I was chewing him out about was because of how aggressive and how angry he was getting. So the more aggressive he got, the more aggressive I got. Then it got to a point where he started to tone down and bow down like a bitch and try to run. But at that point in time, I was cooking the shit out of him. Then he had a fat woman named Patricia that sounded like she's like a 400 pound large ass that uh, sounds like Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Oh yeah, what you gonna do brother? Arr. Roasted the shit out of her really extremely bad. And you know, things kind of, you know, got real childish or whatever. And then it got real quiet. Then I started talking down to him some more. And then I hopped off the panel and then Slapper started having a mental meltdown. Because, uh, because, you know, it was crazy that he had that note down after I left because there was five minutes of dead air from him towards the end before I hopped off, which is why I had hopped off. Now, every debate that I've seen on the modern debate channel with uh, Flat Earthers and Globe uh, Earthers, which it gets to pretty much chewed them alive. And then last night I saw uh, Fight the Flat Earth. He would not stop talking during Iron Horse's, uh, whenever Iron Horse had a response, he would not stop talking during everything he had to say. It's like, y'all are literally bad shit, psychotically loony. This just drives you crazy. It drives you crazy. It just drives you so fucking mad. This is the only thing that for some reason you have to argue about. They can bring up your oh, race. a quick video real quick about how crazy globe earth believers are and their reactions to a person telling them that they believe that the earth is, uh, is stationary and flat and that we're surrounded by Antarctica. It's not, you know, one particular geographic location and it's, uh, it actually surrounds the earth inside of an ice wall, which was told us by Admiral Byrd, et cetera, et cetera. It's shocking the responses that globe earth believers have towards flat earthers. How this is the one thing that triggers you and drives you to be that shit insane. Like I've said before, there's so many crazy things that goes on in this on this planet. You ignore this stuff. You don't even bat an eye or pay any attention to it. But the moment somebody says that there's a possibility that the earth is flat, y'all lose your shit and go absolutely insane. Why ignore everything else, but specifically talk about this? Why focus on this? Your reactions, your responses need to be investigated. I specifically like watching the responses that y'all give and how f 
fucking idiotic, you dumb pieces of shit. Look, because you're so fucking hard. So you gotta do it. Why is it that this is the only argument in on earth that drives you this insane? Yeah. It doesn't matter. Somebody can literally kidnap your mother. You wouldn't argue this hard. You'd sit down and cry about it. This would literally make a person could leave work, look. go home, sit in front of this video, and rage look, 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 and spew look, look, shit look, look, that we've known since look. we were four. Like, you're, you're, you're talking about the shape of the earth. Like, why does that matter? Like, yeah, why, why, why is it so important? This, why does it drive you so, so crazy? This, yeah, there's so many other things that are crazy that people say that you can just ignore. But you say that one thing in particular, and that just drives people. It through. drives you so fucking nuts. Yeah, that'll, I'm good. that'll literally make a person turn around in the store, leave all aspects of his health at home. He could literally shoot this guy. They'll say, listen here, bucko. Drop his groceries, face get red, drop his daughter, and sit down and have an argument with you. He would literally go to jail behind this over something he doesn't even fuck. He knows for a fact his phone is in his pocket. He knows for a fact he has money in his wallet. But if you bring that up, something that you can't prove nor talk about, the only thing you can do is get on Google a government a government controlled program and say, hey, look at it. That's our. You sound insane. You need to be committed. And I don't know where you need to be committed to. Because I don't even think there's help for this shit. You might even need to be put the fuck down. Exactly. And I'm going to end it right there.